the other side of the bracket is a 2-7 is IMG and La Lamere. Now again, I have IMG number six, but that's because they have the two losses to Sunrise. IMG, La Lamere, I think IMG will advance. They had a great game during this regular season, and we saw that game. Keontae right. George went pretty nuts. I thought La Lu played like probably one of the best games of their season against IMG. I don't know if they can duplicate that. You bet. How many guys have been to a high, uh, college basketball game? Raise your hand if you've been. Pretty much close to court side. Raise your hand if you've been close to court side. All right, NBA? Okay. What do they do? They talk, man. They talk. They're elites at conversation. Elites. Man, how can you guys see videos all the time on, Sna on, on Insta or on Twitter and then think that you can't be able to do that on your level and then it's, it's going to be okay? <laughs> The thing about it is we have we have wounds that are there that we can pick from, you know, like the, the loss to Sunrise last year or losses to Montverde uh, in the past or, you know, taking somebody for granted. The topic of redemption is weighing heavy on a lot of our minds because most of us have been here before. Fortunately, we've been able to go through this preparation piece now. This is the third iteration of it since we've been here. It's almost like the season comes to an end and you have something at the end of the tunnel, but then it's so far away. It's seven or eight weeks away. It is mentally taxing on everybody, especially the kids. You know, they just want to play. You know, we haven't been able to really get up and down like that. You know, we don't want to have any injuries before Geico. You have guys that'll be like, well, we've been through that and I've seen that and I don't need to work on that. Or you have guys that have said, I've seen that. We need to work on that. We need to get better with that. We need to improve with that. We have a talented group on this team right now. Every day I learn something from them. And every day it's a new opportunity to get better. Knowing that I had time to reflect on the past season and knowing that we have Geico come, it really gave me time to get my mind and body ready. Everybody see the, the facilities and the gyms and the weight rooms and all the amenities that we have here, and they just think we just got it made for us and everything is easy. If you come here, you'll see that it's wrong. I was actually at a, a charter school uh, called High School of Louisville. I was there for my junior year. And then I went to um, NBA Top 100, and then talk, I talked to Eric, and he was just telling me, like, you get better each and every day. You kind of get a head start when you get into college. If you're here, it's because you really want to be great at something. I think Eric has established himself as one of the hardest working kids I've been around. Eric makes his teammates better by showing his teammates what to do. The lead by example guy. You know, if you're someone like Keontae and, or Koi or Michael and you come in here and it's your first year and you see what these guys are doing as far as extra shots are concerned, as far as extra lifts are concerned, as far as the conditioning is concerned and how you handle it, you have no choice but to step in line. You know, he brings it each and every day. He's been here for who knows how long. Doing it too close. Oh. Oh. Good. Yep. If I control what I can control, then everything else will fall in place. It's spring break. I mean, sometimes you gotta sacrifice early to live the life you want. Eric, as a as a kid, you know, I'm very fortunate. I've seen him evolve from a player that was trying to find his way to a player that's definitely know where, what he wants and where he's going. And he works his tail off, and he works his tail off when no one else is watching, and he takes a lot of pride in that. So I respect that. And I think that's part of being a coach's kid, too. ING basketball is dedication. You got to be dedicated. You got to be determined to do this because it's not easy and it's not for everybody. Hand up, hand up. Good. You're going to have hard days. You're going to have days you don't want to go to school. You're going to have days you don't want to go to practice. But at the end, it always turns out in your favor. You know how it is here. So like really just talking to him, he's really helped me, you know, adjust to this lifestyle here and now, you know, I'm really comfortable here. So I met Keontae throughout the summer and since our relationship, I seen him grow as a person in this short amount of time as well. His work ethic has grown, his mindset has grown. I mean, he's, he's ready for that next level for sure. Keontae's a lightning rod, right? You bring something like that in, that could screw up every aspect of your group. Credit to him and credit to the kids. Like, it's just like he's been here for four years. You know, being here away from home, it's like, you know, it made me mentally stay focused, stay locked in, and just show me, like, really preparing me for the next level. Uh, 
I've been watching the Geico Nationals for, you know, a couple years now. So I just always wanted to be, you know, a part of that. I didn't know when I was going to be able to be a part of it, but now I'm here. My sophomore year, my first year on the team, and I think everybody was talking about IMG's not this, they're not going to win Geico, they fell off. And I was like, that's crazy because we just won last year. They said we'd never be the team we was in 2019. First off, I feel like if we went Geico, it would change the whole narrative of IMG. They know what it takes for prep for this. They also know that they're only guaranteed one game. I mean, adversity has just hit this group and they've beat it away, you know, as, as much as they possibly could. 